Good morning, my lovely ones. All zodiac signs from Aries to the Pisces, welcome to your daily three cards energy for all of you. And of course, today, date speaking is August 23rd. We are almost to the end of summer season, but as well, we are at the beginning of a new season, and that's the Virgo season. Let's see, loves. Aries, welcome. Let's see what we got for you. And, of course, how these energies are working there for you. The first card for you, we have a tower, Knight of Wands, and the moon. All right, all right. Dealing here with a water sign or with a fire sign, I have Sag, Scorpio, and Pisces, Cancerian. The thing is, for some of you, it is a particular person that comes in fast, but the, the same leaves fast. And also, there's an energy here that I want something to do with you, but in a short time. For some of you, if you are communicating with someone out of blue or they coming in, rushing back in, now that person have intentions, but not really quite serious. They want to be one day or two with you and that's it. And for some of you, you might found out uh, certain secrets, certain truths about someone in particular will be quite like what I never thought about this person being this or going through this. So there is certain things here you you're about to find and you feel quite like what a little shocking or a little feeling like I never even thought about it. And yeah, loves, for some of you, there is a particular person you need to be careful to not, to not get involved with. Whoever is that person, they may not bring you the best out of the best. So be careful, loves. Three of Swords, okay? And forward movement to our beautiful Tauruses. Welcome. Let's see. Taurus, what we got for you? The first card we have World, Two of Swords, and Ten of Cups. For some of you, you are cutting off someone or you're cutting off a situation for good because that involves your own happiness. If you want to move on towards something or someone else, there is an energy here that might return to you. However, I see you blocking something to not happen. For some of you, yes, you need to set tabs or you need to have a closure moment with a particular person. Please do, because that is for your own good. And yes, for some of you, you might cutting off someone completely from your life because emotionally influencing you and might not be in a good way. And there is also here a Taurus who feels like, well, my happiness depends on me and how I set boundaries. But yes, boundaries are needed, but sometimes certain people need to be cut off. And indeed, it could be a fire sign, could be a drama person or someone who brings drama. Could be a Leo in particular, as the Queen of Wands is Leo for me. Could be a, an Aries, could be a Sag as well. Moving forward to our Geminis. Welcome. Let's see, loves, what do we got for you and how is your energy? Chariot, Three of Wands. And nine of cups, look at you, loves. Hopeful, full of life. For some of you, you are going on a trip. It's a short trip. For some of you, you are moving, but I see you on the move. Movement could be on a physical level. Movement could be on emotional and spiritual level. Whatsoever, loves, I see you very satisfied for whatever is there. 
also there is here a Gemini moving probably towards a Cancerian could be a water sign Cancer Scorpio Pisces could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sag and speaking of there is a Gemini who makes a purchase could be a car could be a home could be something quite big you really really manifested wanted and now you are feel quite accomplished yes there is a wish fulfillment for some of you or it's coming to be in a very short time all I can say if it's something here you really want to do you got green light all right loves absolutely and if you you felt that something here didn't go through or financially or whatever now you are getting off there's there's been a situation here for some Gemini's that you you felt very bad about it now I see you quite positive and that's the rule Cancerians welcome let's see my loves what we got for you how is your day? Seven of Wands, Justice, and the Hierophant. Standing up for what you feel is right for you. For some of you, there is a divorce here or there is a legal situation that you really need to fight for or you need to stand up for. All right, loves. And could be a contract, could be a legal situation, could be legal matters whomever if you are divorcing with someone you need to stand up for yourself you need to fight for what is right for you and i feel here you do so the seven of wands seven of pentacles is kind of do not wait there's something here you it's kind of takes so long you need to do something and i feel here you can because you have the ability to do so if you've been afraid and your intuition tells you, go ahead. Do not be afraid. There's something here you know it's right. Go for it. Stand up. All right, Cancerians. No matter how much could be there. Leo, it's your time, my dears. Let's see. Judgment. Seven of Pentacles and king of cups big realization for some leos that the wait is over whatever here you've been waiting if you've been waiting for someone to come to you back to you they might be here for some of you it's kind of don't wait anymore the wait is over for others of you if you've been waiting a long time for someone someone here might be knocking at your door here you are loves here you are your major arcana strength is here you know now is the time you stronger than ever you don't need to put your faith in the waiting but in the movement go with your heart loves whatever is your calling and ace of swords crystal clear for some of you if you've been waiting to have clarity regard the situation you will get it for some of you there is a family situation that you really require the father figure someone to explain to you something you will get it all right loves have faith leo have faith virgo three cards energy for you my darlings let's see high priestess the devil and judgment what's going on here virgos what's going on loves there's something here you know doesn't go the way you would like or you planned but i feel here there's some somebody here it's quite against you why there's people here from your life that you you might need to cut off or you might need to close a door for them for some Virgos, you might feel here why why I always argue with a specific person. Why I always bring trouble with me. There's something here you you need to clean up, and the cleanse very very much speaks of other patterns. For some of you, 
might do a cleanse spiritually being or spiritual doing your new moon is coming this week on the 27th so it's a great time when you bless a candle a white one and feel that i'm going to new i'm going towards something new and whatever it's here in a trouble matter i leave behind and i bring just the good energy it's just as simple as you can see but you need to trust in that because i feel here there is some virgos here that do well in certain situations and it's time just to move forward and the death that's what comes from it's another major arcana for major major arcana so don't let other people's to tell you or bring you unnecessary energy to you healthy boundaries all the ways leaving behind and sometimes we don't need to go backwards or back to certain situations that are over done or they are not here and the death speaks of there is a new beginning coming in but there is something here clearly will hurt when you will leave behind okay but now there is life after death death is just a transformational energy kind of all right loves i hope someone here gets the point and moving towards our libras what do we got for you libra and how is your energy five of swords four of swords and four of cups libra it seems here that you are dealing with someone quite selfish they keep popping in popping in popping in and it's it's more likely why you even think why you even deal with this kind of person because you clearly know four of cups they bring you something that doesn't really fulfill you for some of you it's just you you lying to yourself that someone here will change believe it or not they could improve they never change and the other thing here is like don't stress about will they be this time good or not or something like that because facts speaks more than any kind of words believe in what you see not what you hear as well for some of you you might think to go away from a situation don't look that you will go backwards or something you have a new beginning there and of course this very very strongly is up to you if you make the move or you stay still underneath we have the temperance give yourself time heal whatever needs to and then make the move my beautiful scorpios welcome let's see what we got for you the first card for you we have page of pentacles six of pentacles and the empress all right all right for some of you scorpios you you're working hard to get what you need to get the thing is it seems here that things will are improving or will improve but i feel here with a lot of effort for some of you if you are dealing here with an earth sign be very careful loves because they may not be what you think they are okay but i feel here if you are thinking of your financial your financial situation will improve loves even though right now might not go to the distance because the hangman speaks that there's something here you need to think from a different perspective if you want to progress for those of you who are working two jobs indeed here there is not too much of movement but i feel here it is coming or the things will improve quite a lot of effort needs to be done okay loves 
and here you are loves there's something here that what brings you joy what you feel is right there and moving to our sages Sagittarians let's see loves what we got for you the first card for sages we have knight of pentacles the devil and the hermit earthly energy here there's something here goes very slow for you loves or is on the way moving forward but very slow and yes could you could be here dealing here with an earth sign i have capricorn i have virgo there's something here put you in the question mode why the things are moving so slow what's going on why i am always into this kind of moody energy i feel here also as we move into the virgo energy here or virgo season let's say you will be more into your intro prospect or more inside you to to reflect on why the things goes in a certain way also remember that jupiter is going retrograde till your new moon which the new moon is at the end of november and yes things might not go the way you would like to so take it easy be easy on you the devil energy here speaks of the two of cups if you are seeking new energy new love new things there's certain behavior or certain habits that you need to work on or basically to remove or clean out all right loves because i see here a sag that feels like very hard to find uh, a reliable person or someone to trust to for others of you you are seeking something new not necessarily love but it's feeling like i am into a some certain of energy could be a negative situation could be a very hard situation to handle and you just want something else or something out there to to get out from it i feel here it's coming loves two of cups speaks of the maximum two of two months cups are months for me so hanging there try to do other things but things are improving whatever you are manifesting there the news will come so if you felt things are going very slow or things are not there eight of ones eight weeks ones for me are weeks and that's again two months okay the maximum this is a maximum energy that's on the way so if you are looking for some news or positive energy or movement into your life hang in there it's on the way and capricorn here you are let's see what we got for you my darlings five of swords king of swords and eight of cups capricorn you you now getting quite clear regards a person or a situation and if gives you some kind of like betrayal or gives you some insight of this is not for me or this is not going to fulfill me or this is not going to bring me any good you are moving forward for some of you you are moving away from a very cold energy cold situation cold person or basically a selfish one could be someone who is a professional liar whatever it is king of swords you are changing your plans on moving forward from an environment that clearly 
on your mental goodness is not there. So yeah, on the move, eight of cups, six of wands. You will get over it beautifully, but I feel here there is some kind of move that needs to go on. All right, loves. So on the move, Capricorns, on the move. Underneath we have 10 of pentacles and knight of cups. There is a new energy here. For those of you who are moving on from someone in particular, wait, there is someone coming over. Okay. Aquarius, welcome, my loves. Let's see. What do we got for you? Here we are, the first card for you. We have five of swords. What's going on with this five of swords? Magician and Hierophant. All right, all right. I will clarify right away this Five of Swords, Nine of Wands. All right, loves. I see here that you, you are not resisting anymore to those who are naysayers, those who are playing behind your back. It's kind of, you know, it's not my business to resist, do whatever you want. And anyway, I will do my thing. Magician and Hierophant, if I want to be in a stable energy, that very much depends on me, how I will react, how I will give it my energy, or how I will set the boundaries. So, not resisting anymore, but it's kind of doing you and your own thing. Well, that's the, the key of your success formula, yes. Those people who are, hey, I'm your friend, hey, I'm your person and things like that. Not anymore. For some of you, if you've been involved here with someone in a third party, you are manifesting your partner, your stable partner. So whatever is here doesn't really fulfill. The thing is, whomever is this person or these people, they don't believe you will do this when you actually doing it. Look at you. Good job, love. Sometimes, you know, doing you and doing what works for you, that is raising your vibration to the next level. Absolutely. Look at you. The emperor, very determined movement forward. It's kind of like now will be my way, not their way. Go for it, loves. That's the best. Pisces, let's love. So what do we got for you and how the things are? The first card for you, Pisces, we have Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. Yes, standing up for yourself because I feel here there is something here that's coming in for you, but it's more likely, does this fulfill me? This is beneficial to me or this is not beneficial to me for some of you there is certain news here that you know they are coming will fulfill you it's very much up to you for some of you you are dealing here with a fire sign or an earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or Leo, Aries, Sag you need to stand up and bring into your energy what works for you for those of you who are Getting a job at this time, the offer looks very catchy. The offer is great, but you need to negotiate or you need to fight for something that beneficial. it's beneficial to you, not to them. So turn the situation into your favor, not in their favor. Because, you know, a hand wash the other hand loves. Always, always. And underneath we have two of cups. For some of you, if you are meeting someone new, you need to communicate more. You need to know the person more before you go forward because it could be something more than just uh, a day or two or a very short time. Because I feel here depends on how you are pursue this or proceed forward. That's how you'll get it. Okay? And... Let's see, loves. Collective, welcome, loves. If your zodiac sign didn't really speak too much to you, let's see what this is speaking to you. 
and as you always know being grateful for all of you who are joining the channel don't hesitate to as i always mention and thank you let's see collective what's going on here we have temperance energy archangel michael on the horizon give it time there's something here you gotta give it time could be a conflict could be some people in your life could be certain things that are a little bit all over the place temperance speaks to you things are getting in balance give it time don't rush as well the temperance angel speaks about sagittarian energy there's a lot of fiery energy so whatever here is kind of like don't play with the fire okay queen of pentacles ten of pentacles two of cups knight of swords fool high priestess six of pentacles eight of swords and death all right changes big changes here for some of you new energies and i feel here you don't see them coming but you feel they are coming at one point it's kind of yes i know they are coming but i don't see them i don't see them yet the eight of swords king of pentacles well here you are loves for some of you there is your person your life partner is on the way the six of pentacles king of cups the knight of swords seven of wands yes i feel here there is someone here that i've been dealing here with a particular person that could be a secret person and now they make their choice or they are about to make their choice the thing is it's still or it's still an energy of an older per or older energy another person in the mix king of cups six of pentacles five of cups knight of swords seven of wands five of pentacles yeah somebody here will feel left out in the cold whatsoever they will show that they don't really care the eight of swords strength it's kind of somebody here always always knew that i gotta be better but i don't know truly if this will happen queen of pentacles nine of cups nine of wands and chariot i'm not resisting i'm moving towards who i want what i want so yeah for some of you if you've been dealing here with an air or a water or the person you were dealing here in the past or whatever they are coming forward someone here is on the move towards whomever they do love actually not whomever they are always on the resistant mode but I feel here that resistant mode was more likely because a lot of things go, have been going on between those two people. And someone here just basically, the way they communicate, it's, it's very, very out of realm, let's say that. The death three of cups two of pentacles page of pentacles and ace of pentacles someone here doesn't even know should i be happy should i go slow towards what i want but i know surely that the energy that I'm looking for, it's here. So someone here indeed makes big, major changes in their life. And it's kind of towards the one they deep inside love. Okay. 
So let's see. Who is this one or what's the best energy that we can get? We have a Knight of Wands, Sag energy, Judgment, Tower, and Six of Cups. And Eight of Cups. Somebody here walked away from the uh, love of their life. This is a, a past life energy. For some of you, if you are moving towards someone, I feel here there's a past life energy here coming in to you. However, that's a new beginning. And this is something real and stable. The question is, someone will feel very, very, very sad. But more likely, in the, in the first place, they will feel sad, then they will feel like, oh, I, I don't really care about it. But I knew there is something here, you hiding it. You know, sometimes people are acting very weird sometimes. And you don't really understand why. And I feel here someone here will understand why. So loves, happy Tuesday. And thank you for coming in. And of course, we'll see all of you tomorrow. Namaste.